Good evening. I'm Rachel Barrett, the director of this show. And I just would like to thank you all for coming and joining us tonight and giving us your evening. We're very grateful and thankful that you guys have chosen to support us. Um, I'm supposed to tell you about the exits, mind them. There, and he, this is Sam Chase, by the way. This is our stage director. This whole last week would have been a mess about her. Um, the exits are here and there in case of an emergency or a fire. Exit the one closest to you, but that one goes right outside, so it's probably the safest one. Um, oh, also your cell phones, please turn them off even if they're on silent or something. The actors are pretty blinded by the lights up here, but we can still see a glowing screen out in that darkness, so please turn them off. No need to record the show or anything, we're doing that. Um, also, if you are in one of these open aisles right here, please keep them clear. Don't <laughs> put your like bags or your legs out or anything, because we do have moments when actors run off the stage and we would prefer for all of them to stay upright and not trip. Um, also, there is a scene about halfway through when the house lights come back on, you know it's intermission, and we have delicious snacks and water and coffee for you guys to go by. Um, and I think that's everything else I, got, I need to tell you. So enjoy the show, it's very, very good. And thank you for being here, bye. Remember friends, 
the Save a Soul Mission, located on 409 West 49th Street, open all day and all night. Oh, never mind, just... Just over to the Bill Park garage. Joey says he might take a chance and let me use his place. Okay. If I give him a thousand bucks. What? A thousand bucks? In cash. Nathan, can't you do something? What can I do? I'm broke. I couldn't even buy Adelaide a present today. And you know what today is? It's my and Adelaide's 14th anniversary. We've been engaged 14 years. <laughs> But where can I have the game? I ain't scared. 
I'm perfectly willing to take the risk of providing I can figure out a bet on which there's no chance of losing. <laughs> he likes crazy bets. Hmm. There's a squirrel in the forest. Or that guy with the hot dogs. He's gonna get divorced one day. It's gonna happen. Might as well oh. it. Look. Run into Mindy's restaurant and ask Mindy how many pieces of cheesecake he sold yesterday and also how many pieces of strudel. How much cheesecake? How much strudel? What do you want to know for? Just find out and beat it. Here comes Adelaide. Cheers, I'm wearing the crap piece. will never step on me again. Hello, ladies here. Adelaide, pigeon. You go ahead, girls. Order me a tuna fish on fry and a chocolate sundae with tomato, ketchup, and mayonnaise. OK, Adelaide. <laughs> We gotta get back to the hot box. You still rehearsing? Yeah, that slave driver Charlie, he's been working us all day. So finally I said, look Charlie, I gotta get out of here and I gotta get something to eat. And he says, you don't wanna eat, you just wanna meet that cheap bum Nathan Detroit. So what'd you say then? I told him, I said, I'll meet whoever I want. Nathan, happy anniversary! A present for me? I hope you like it. A belt? Read the card. Sugar is sweet, and so is jelly. So put this belt around your belly. That's so sweet. Look, honey, about your present. Uh, I didn't get you one. I'm sorry. Nathan, I kind of liked it when you forget to get me a present. It makes me feel like we're married. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. One of these days, I'll be in the money, and you'll have more mink than a mink. Nathan, you don't have to get me anything, as long as you don't start running the crap game again. The crap game? What an absurd thought. <coughs> Yesterday, Vinny said he sold 1,200 pieces of cheesecake and uh, 1,500 pieces of strudel. More strudel than cheesecake? That's great. Nathan, what is this? Nothing. Uh, look, honey, I'm expecting a fella, and I know you're hungry. Nathan, are you trying to get rid of me? No, I just don't want your sandwich to get soggy. But Fellas? Hmm? Oh! It's up, it's up. <laughs> Nathan, you old promoter, you? How are you, Scott? You gonna be in town long? Flying in Havana tomorrow. Havana? Yeah, there's plenty of action down there. You wanna come along? No, no I got a lot of things to, uh... Tell me, you hungry? Maybe we could go into Mindy's and grab a piece of cheesecake or strudel or something. Nah, I think I'll get the late results. But you will admit that Mindy's has the greatest cheesecake in the country. I'm quite partial to Mindy's cheesecake. Who ain't? And yet, there are some people who prefer Mindy's strudel. Offhand, which do you think he sells more of? The cheesecake or the strudel? Well, if anyone is like I am, I'd say Mindy sells much more cheesecake than strudel. For how much? Huh? I'll bet you a thousand bucks yesterday Mindy sold more strudel than cheesecake. Nathan, let me tell you a little story. Uh, when I was a young man about to go into the world, my father said to me a very valuable thing. Son, the old guy says, one day in your travels a guy is going to come up to you with a brand new deck of cards and bet he can make the jack of spades jump out of the deck and squirt cider in your ear. But son, do not bet this man, for as sure as you are standing there, you're going to wind up with an ear full of cider. Now, Nathan, I did not claim that you've been clocking Mindy's cheesecake. You don't think that. However, if you're really looking for some action, I bet you the same thousand you do not know the color of the necktie you have on. Well? <laughs> no bet. Blue. What a crazy color. Took Miss Adeline to the drugstore. She says to be sure that you pick her up at the hot box tonight and don't be late. Yes, dear. I, I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, dear. That's husband talk if I've ever heard it. Nathan, you are trapped. And then a girl like Adelaide, you have the most difficult kind of doll to unload. But I don't want to unload her. I love Adelaide. And a guy without a doll, well, a doll is a necessity. Nathan, I'm not putting the wrap on the dolls. All I'm saying, figuring weight for age, all dolls are the same. Oh yeah? Yeah. And how come you ain't got a doll? How come going to a van out alone without one? I like to travel light. However, if I were to take a doll with me to Havana, there is a large assortment available. Not real high class dolls. Any doll. You name her. Any doll? And I name her? Will you bet on that? We well, bet thousand dollars that five hundred dollars you'll take it to a van with you tomorrow. You gotta bet.
I named her, her, Cider. Myself. Sky Masterson. I hope you will not think I'm getting out of line. It's just nice to see such a pretty doll, lovely looking lady like yourself, sacrificing herself for the sakes of others. Mm hmm. Here is another pamphlet that I think you should read. Thank you. However, I will need a lot of personal help from you. I'll be speaking at the Thursday prayer meeting. I need private lessons. Ooh. Why don't we have dinner or something? <laughs> I think not. Tell me, Mr. Masterson, why are you here? I told you. I'm a sinner. You're lying. Well, lying's a sin. Look, I'm a big sinner. It's eight to five. The others will follow. Why don't you let me help you? I bet I could fill this place with sinners. <laughs> I did that. I'll make a proposition. When's this big meeting of yours? Thursday? I can guarantee to fill that place with one dozen genuine sinners. <laughs> And what's my end of the bargain? Have dinner with me. Why do you want to have dinner with me? I'm hungry. Here. What's this? Sky Master Sins. Marker for one dozen sinners. Ask anybody in town if you don't think it's good. I'll pick you up at noon tomorrow for dinner. At noon? It'll take us some time to get there. To get where? El Cubana in Havana. Havana? Where else do you want to eat? Howard Johnson's? The plane gets us there in six hours and back the same night. And the food is great. Please, go away. Somewhere out there, there must be a man who will appeal to the sergeant. I wonder what that man will be like. He will not be a gambler. I'm not interested in what he won't be. I'm interested in what he will be. Don't worry. I will. From the two pair of pants Stop and I'll stare at thy face. 
stop by again if you'd like to take a crack at the other cheek. with our star Miss Adelaide and the hot box for
You'll feel better tomorrow. Come on, cheer up, honey. Let's see that old smile. That's my girl. See you tomorrow. <laughs>
Cachant son chant, mais que Beth, that is they get it on son door. When a guy wears tails with the fur gleaming whites, oh, the heck to get Yankees tickle and cake on Saturday night. The lazy slob who keeps a good steady job, and he smells from the palace and Barbara Saul. Call it dumb, call it clever. How do you can get on forever? That the guy's only doing it for some doll, some doll, some doll. The guy's only doing it for some doll. Which nobody can 
not been there. <laughs> Nathan, darling, I don't know! Why didn't you tell me? It was a surprise! <laughs> but when I saw you standing here with all these fine gentlemen, I never would have dreamed it was a bachelor dinner! I thought it was a... Oh, it's, it's a bachelor dinner. Yes, sir. A bachelor dinner. Yeah. Just think, after 14 years, I'm finally going to become Mrs. Nathan Detroit. Time certainly does fly. Tell me, Nathan, when's the happy day? Oh, what will it be, Nathan? Nathan, these calls are good enough to throw you a bachelor dinner. You can at least tell them the wedding date. Well, we need time for a license. Oh, cool. that, that you could elope. What? You, you can drive me out to Maryland, and they'll marry you right away. You don't even need a blood test. Ain't that unhealthy? Nathan, <laughs> Uh. Well, what the heck? My congratulations too, Nathan. I just hope there's nothing in heredity. Nathan, I got so many things to do before we alone tomorrow night. You want me at the hot box? I'll have a table reserved and I'll be all dressed up in whatever you love in. Nathan, I'm so happy! Nathan, you are indeed a lucky fellow. The most beautiful doll is deep. Do you agree, Big Joel? Let's shoot crap. <laughs> Nathan, you better find a place right now. How can I? The money from Sky ain't come yet. Oh, boy. Uh, maybe the money won't come. Maybe he managed to take the doll to Havana. He couldn't have. How could he? She couldn't have gone. Well, 
this whole place. To go somewhere where, where the sinners are respectable and well behaved. You saw what happened here last night. They gambled in our mission. And someday they'll be praying there. Even a man like Sky Masterson, he came seeking refuge. He came seeking me. Did you know that? I knew that the minute he started picking on you. But I didn't know you'd be so caught up like this. The man I love will not be a gambler. You love him enough, Sarah. Sarah, Sister Abernathy, how goes the soul saving? Tonight's the big meeting, isn't it? It's supposed to be. The general is coming. General's a tough doll, eh? Arvide, we've got to hurry. Sarah, being a gambler, I don't forget things like this. You hold my marker for 12 centers tonight. Mr. Masterson, last night our mission was filled with your friends. Let us say we're eating. If you don't pay off on that marker, I'll tell the whole town you're a dirty welcher. Yeah. Nicely. Where's the crap king? Uh, well, Sky, it's about a ten minutes walk from here. Which way? <laughs> that way. <laughs> After you. fatigued from weariness, having been shooting crap for quite a while now, namely 24 hours. I do not care who is found. I'm out 25 days, so nobody leaves. <laughs> Gentlemen, I begin to see the logic of Big Jewel. It is not that Big Jewel is a bad loser, it is merely that he prefers to win. <laughs> right, Big Jewel? Give me the dice, I'm shooting 2,000. And Detroit, I'm gonna roll you, willy or nilly. If I lose, I will give you my marker. And if I lose? You will give him cash. Take it easy, Harriet. Let me hear from Big Jewel. You will give me cash. Put up your dough. Look, I just remembered. I'm a open tonight. Adelaide's waiting for me. <laughs> Put up the 2,000. Wouldn't it be more convenient if I just put it right into your pocket? Get it up! <laughs> ha! Eleven! I win! That cleans me. I will not play with you guys. Uh, Here they are. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey, fresh blood. You looking for some action? Not at the moment. I'd like to talk to some of you guys. But we ain't talking. We're shooting crap. I'm only asking for a moment. It has to do with Miss Sarah Brown's mission. Say, who is this guy? It's the fellow I was telling you. Take the mission down to the end. Look, fella, you're slowing up the action around here. If you're looking for some action, would you like to make a small wager on a proposition? Well, what's the proposition? Am I right or am I left-handed? How would I know a thing like that? I'll give you a clue. <laughs> <laughs> Kindly return this to Sears Roebuck. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, you guys, tonight in Miss Sarah Brown's mission on 409 West 49th Street, there's a midnight prayer meeting being held. And it, when it comes to sin, most of you guys are high up among the paint cards. <laughs> I don't want to wait till we in a house. Who I can guarantee the air in the mission smells better than down here. <laughs> I tried. See you around, Nathan. See you around, Sky. Oh, um. About that Havana business, I regret I temporarily do not have the 1000 to pay you. You don't have to pay me. You won. Well, I thought you took the doll to Havana. You thought wrong. Get up, Big Jewel. I've now got Donna roll you again. Well, with my dice. Nothing doing with your dice. He cannot make a pass to save his soul. What did you say? I said with his dice, he cannot make a pass to save his soul. Well, maybe I can make a pass to save yours. And his, and yours, and his. Alright, I will bet you each a thousand against a marker for your souls. If I win, you all show up at the mission tonight. You too, Nathan. 
a marker against your soul. Me? I don't even know if I got one. Got one someplace? Give me a dice. And give me room. I got a little more than dough riding on this one. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. At times you have a very unladylike way of running out. You're on this stage with me, the pickings have been lush. And yet before this evening is over, you might give me the brush. You might forget your manners, you might forget to stay. And so, the best that I can do is pray. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Luck be a lady tonight. See how nice a thing you can be. I know the way you feel like I feel like it. Luck be a lady with me. Sit down. Prayer meeting. 
So I will be placing Nathan Detroit, Major Domo in my place. Anyone that occurs in any unpleasantness will answer to Sky Masterson personally. What a remarkable young man. <laughs> so, remember that, you guys. <laughs> Tonight, the meeting will be conducted by the head of our organization, General Cartwright. It is wonderful to see our mission graced by so many evil looking sinners. <laughs> now, who would like to start the ball rolling by giving testimony? <laughs> Benny, give testimony. Uh, I ain't no stool pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> Brothers, I know it is difficult, but let one of you give testimony to the sin that is in his heart. Anyone? Harry. Harry at the horse. Oh, no. Yeah. Like when Sky rolled for our souls? I beg your pardon? Sky Masterson, he rolled us a thousand dollars against our souls. That's why we're here. I'm not sure I understand. I do, General. She means that they are only here because Mr. Masterson won them in a dice game. <laughs> How wonderful! This whole meeting the result of gambling. It shows good can come from evil. <laughs> Sergeant Sarah, you have done remarkable work. Thank you. <laughs> Anybody else? That's off. Get off me. We will now hear testimony from Brother Nicely Nicely Johnson. Excuse me. Brother Nicely Nicely Johnson. Well, uh, I don't have any kind of funny. Like a dream. A dream, that's it. Tell us in your own words. Oh. I dreamed last night I got on the boat to heaven. By some chance, I had brought my dice along, and there I stood. And I hollered, someone fade me, for the passengers they know right from wrong. For the people all said, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. People all said, sit down, sit down, you're rocking the boat. And the devil will drag you under by the shawl of And as I left at those passengers to heaven, a great big wave came on the overboard. And as I sank, and I hollered, someone say! <laughs> so I woke up, thank the Lord.
We did shoot crap here last night, and we're real sorry, ain't we, boys? Yeah, yeah I'm real sorry. Real sorry. I don't even know how to shoot crap. <laughs> but I did another terrible thing. I made a bet with a certain guy that he could not take a certain doll away with him on a trip. And this I should not have done. Although it did not do any harm, as I won the bet. You won the bet. Sure. The guy told me he didn't take the doll. Well, that makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gentlemen, <laughs> we will now sing number 244, Follow the Fold. No, I don't Please. sing. <laughs> Brothers and 
sisters, life is one big crap game, and the devil is using loaded dice. Where's the crap game? No. no. <laughs> Brother Masterson, may we get it married in your mission? Adelaide and I. Certainly, I'm married, Brother Masterson and Sister Sarah. I would be glad to do the same for you. Congratulations, Nathan. I'll lay it eight to five. You'll be very happy. Oh, uh, what Obadiah means is. Uh, Obadiah. <laughs> he wishes you every happiness, and so do I. Thank you very much. I know we're going to be happy. We're going to have a little house in the country, and Nathan will be there beside me every single night. Achoo! <laughs> when you see a guy, Christmas stars in the sky, you can bet that it's doing it for some cause. For this entire class, I mean, like, this class would not be go, go on without her, just for everything her and Mrs. Guthrie do for everyone and everything. Yes, yes. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Oh, <laughs> 
Okay, Tyler, you're hilarious. I our first show with you, I think, was or my first show was Taste by Christmas Carol. Put up with a lot of stuff, but you've like you stepped into this role. You've been so entertaining this show. Like your little ad lib lines have been amazing. They make me laugh. That's crazy. and weird jokes backstage, and your accent also, I've got to have that respect for it. It was great. Real <laughs> We're going to miss you a lot. Julia, you were, you've been here since I have. You've, oh, like, you've developed. Oh, my gosh. You've grown so much. So much. I cannot express that enough. Like, you're singing that last semester. You sang on stage, like, by yourself. That was incredible. Yeah, Julia! You've grown so much. Isaiah, I didn't even know you before this, and now we're engaged. I think we're married. <laughs> and I like, really, really got the cast list. I was like, Isaiah, I've never met this kid. And we've gotten kind of pretty close in this semester, and it's been really good. And I'm kind of bummed this was like our only show together, because it was a lot of fun being engaged to you for supposedly 14 years. <laughs> Kevin, you're a blast on stage. You're a blast in class. Like you're, you're just awesome. It's gonna be really weird without you at school because you just kind of make it. Also, I love your socks. Not, just, not right now. Sorry. Uh, I really wanted to. Spencer, I'm gonna you're not there. Cameron, you've been. I feel like you've had like these last three days, and you've done so good. The first time I heard you sing, I was like. That is why he's cast. You are so good up there. <laughs> the first time you got on stage to the show, like you've grown so much, you are Sky Masters and now like you owned it, you yeah. loved that role, came into this weird group of people and you just you blended in, right in. It was perfect. Michaela, I'm also ignoring you. Um, <laughs> Joel, I've taken a class with you all year, and somehow like it was this week that we actually interacted, became friends, and talked. And that's that's what this class does for people. Yeah. Is it you can know people at school, but until you're in this class with them and you have to form a 14 year relationship with them in 11 weeks or whatever it is, it brings you together. And Joel, you've been a blast. I everything I've heard about you is great. You've been done so good on stage every. Last semester, this semester, you've been incredible. Yeah. Oh, you know. <laughs> Alina, you are precious. You are beautiful. You're so good. I love watching you oh, on and off stage. I just yeah. adore you. You're such a good person inside and out. <laughs> Like, he just owned it. He rocks acting, he rocks singing, he rocks dancing, he rocks being just a shining light off stage. Don't be ashamed, you're awesome. <laughs> Spencer was like my theater dad when I first came in. Like, I just looked up to him. I wanted to be just like him. I've never looked up to you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, Spencer, like, my first song, I think, when I came to this school was with him, and I was like, dang, that kid can sing. And then I met his parents, and I was like, that's why he can <laughs> sing. <laughs> um, Spencer. Wrote. Yes. 
because she does that. Like mm -hmm. that is, it's not just acting. Like she can do everything. I admire her for that. Um, On, especially like really hard, hurtful mission dolls, you know. I mean, she <laughs> so quickly too. I've never seen someone so quickly like develop their character and just like be there. It's incredible. And Michaela, you're one of my best friends. <laughs> I want you to leave. <laughs>